Today I show you how to get instant alkalinity readings for your tank with the push of a button. Hi guys, I'm Randy and today's BRS TV How To, I'm showing you how to use an alkalinity checker from HANA Instruments to take the guesswork out of testing your water. There are quite a few types of HANA checkers available, but if one gets the BRS staff favorite award, it would have to be the HANA Alkalinity DKH checker. Many of us check our water parameters daily or every other day, and using this checker can really save you time and hassle when checking your alkalinity levels. This checker is one of the easiest to use and really only requires one of the two cuvettes at a time, which can save you even more time during testing and cleaning. On top of that, once you've used all the included testing reagent, replacement reagents are less than 10 bucks, and one will yield you about 25 tests. So let's put one to use. To get started, I'll gather a sample of my tank water until it's level with the 10 mil mark on the vial. I find that these very inexpensive 10 mil syringes make it much easier to fill the sample rather than trying to dip it in the water, and it also keeps the outside of the cuvette clean, which is very important for accurate testing. After the vial is filled, capped, and thoroughly cleaned, I'll turn the checker on and add the cuvette in when the screen reads C1, close the lid, and push the button, which will zero the meter. After the checker reads C2, I can remove the cuvette, add one full milliliter of reagent, gently turn it upside down five times, and then put it back into the reader. One more push of the button will provide me with my tank's current DKH, and that's it. It only took me about 30 seconds. A couple of things to add here. It's very important that the testing cuvette be free and clear from any dirt, debris, oils, or fingerprints for accurate results. This is why I like to clean my cuvette with RODI water before testing and using a separate syringe to fill it. Also, bubbles or debris in the water sample can throw off a reading, so be sure to tap any bubbles away if there are some. Finally, as soon as the test is done, I want to rinse the cuvette with water so that the colored reagent doesn't permanently stain the glass and then cause inaccurate readings for future tests. Well guys, that wraps up this how-to. If you have any more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with a chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.